Chess friends, how are you? Alpha Zero has created a brand new version of Alpha by learning chess himself. He is a self-developer algorithm who builds a new version for him around 4300 LO. In this game he sacrificed his queen against me. You only live once, but if you do it right, once is enough, so let's go. I started the game with e4, we have d5 Scandinavian defense, I thought he would play f5 or something annoying move because he always loved to play unexpected move, but his old version knows how I beat him in many games and when I had black pieces, he knows that I am the chess god of this earth as well as the solar system and the milky way galaxy, that's why he is trying to play with me correctly. We have e takes d5 knight f6 to target this pawn, here many players play c4 to protect it but the real problem is that this diagonal will be so weak, you need your pieces development and king safety rather than winning up a pawn, so I played knight f3, knight takes d5 d4, g6 c4 and alpha puts his knight on b6, because the knight f6 would block the bishop line, so I played a4 to play a5 and knight c3 is coming, so alpha played a5, c5 knight d5 bishop c4 to target this knight. Queen b3 is a threat to target the knight and lasering the pawn and this be pawn, we have bishop g7 queen to b3, c6 knight c3, targeting to this knight with 3 pieces, alpha played castle fearlessly, castle knight c7, knight g5 to target this pawn with 1 2 3 pieces, the rook is the only piece who is protecting the pawn, playing e6 would block the bishop diagonal but it will weaken the dark square diagonal at the same time, at the human level, it doesn't matter, but at the artificial level, it makes a lot of difference. So we have queen e8, it is defending the attack but I have some another ways to attack him, this is defending the attack but I have some other ways to attack him. Many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up, so we have bishop f4 to target this knight, and this knight can't be moved because every square is covered by my pieces, so we have knight a6 to protect his brother, rook e1 to target this pawn with the threat of playing bishop d6, so alpha takes the center pawn, he is targeting to this pawn to protect it, knight takes c5 is also possible there, we have queen d1 to target the bishop. And my strategy is to play queen f3, try to get this king diagonal, then push the g-pawn to go h3 square to target it by capturing the pawn with knight, this is why he took back his bishop on g7, now we have bishop, d6 to target this pawn with two pieces, and you can't push the pawn because of bishop takes rook, so alpha played bishop e6 to block this file, I am a disaster and his stupid bishop, border can't stop me, so I take the bishop, takes takes, we have bishop exchanges on e6, and look at this. This is still coming, if you think rook f7 will protect the pawn, let me show you the variation, the queen b3 will come. To target this pawn, 200 L players would play rook a7 to protect that pawn, but don't narrow your vision by protecting a pawn or keeping something hard you don't really need, try to vision your future and goals, be able to change your life and have a best vision statement as the light shines in the darkness and illuminates your life path, because of your narrow vision I will take the pawn on e7 and this is under target, the queen is also under attack and you can't take it. So after queen f8 we will play rook e1, with the idea of playing rook e8 to pin the queen, so black will play rook e8 therefore knight e4 will come, the rook is pinned by the queen and rook so the king can't move, Knight g5 is coming to add pressure to this rook and how will you protect it, if you play h6 to protect that square then I will capture the b pawn, the queen is being targeted so after queen e8 will play knight f6 discover check to the queen, takes rook takes queen takes. Then we will capture the rook and it will be mate on h7, so chess friends if you want to become like me and defeat new alpha zero then you can like and subscribe to my youtube channel where you will get educational contents from me every day, back to the position, we have rook d8 and you cannot take this pawn, let me show you why, if you do it then after takes, takes and takes, it will be a draw, so here we have queen to e2 to target this pawn with an extra piece, if you play rook f7 to protect it, then we will capture the pawn anyway because I have much supporters for my bishop, so back to the position, here alpha sacrificed his queen by capturing the bishop, I accept the sacrifice, rook takes rook queen d2, Taking the pawn isn't good because queen d7 to create pressure to your position and the 7th rank, that's why he closed the position with d5, 
We have rook d1 and after doing rook exchanges on e1 he captured the pawn on c5. Queen d1 and I am threatening to take the pawn with knight to target the black knight and the king, so we have rook f5 to protect it, g4 to kick out him, rook e5 isn't possible so we have rook f7. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.